Hello and welcome to Thursday. It's a beautiful day. Nice and sunny. Another cloud in the sky. Very beautiful. I uh, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but that's okay. Um, the night before, I actually slept quite a bit, which was good. And then, uh, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll know that we were up really late uh, working on taxes. We finished them. Um, I talked to my accountant. He said he's going to get back with me later tonight. And we'll set up a time, so that's that's good. Uh, but I only slept like four hours or so. I woke up and I just wasn't really that tired. I was like, eh, I think I'll just get up and work. I didn't want to put my contacts in, but I got up and started working on stuff. My problem, and I, I can't remember if I mentioned this yesterday or not, is uh, even though I'm, I'm feeling better from my, my cold, um, I'm starting to get a lot of pressure like up in my head, and uh, I think I may be developing a sinus infection. And possibly worse, it could be turning into an ear infection because I've, I've got so much pressure that it's caused me a lot of dizziness and uh, headaches. And um, I took the initiative today and made a doctor's appointment. So uh, I have a doctor's appointment for tomorrow, and I'm going to go see a doctor and see if I can't get this straightened out. Because this is ridiculous. I've been sick now for a week, and I, f I feel good now. But um, now, even though like I sound good and I can you know record and stuff, I have this this headache and this dizziness and this this pressure that I, I want to get rid of. Also, you know if I'm going to get on a plane and I have any of that stuff, that could be painful. At least Mouse says it could be painful. It could be painful. Yeah, you could like pop your eardrum from the pressure. Okay, so that that sounds bad. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been on a plane with that. But apparently it could be really bad. Um, the agenda for today is to continue to get stuff done. Um, now that taxes are out of the way, I feel a burden just lifted. It, it feels awesome. So uh, I'm going to do full steam ahead. Uh, I finally today started editing Cat World, um, which was good. And then about halfway through editing it, I was, you know, I was editing it, and then I would take a break and look at something, and I realized all of a sudden that the internet was dead. And I was like, the internet? What happened? The internet, I need it to, to live. The IV in my vein, it supplies internet. And uh, I tested the, uh, the router, and the router wasn't working, so I plugged it directly into the modem, and it did work. And I was like, ah, crap, something's wrong with the router. So uh, one of the things I noticed was really unusual about it is that normally, if, you might have something weird wrong with the router, but you can always type the router's IP address into a browser and at least look at the browser's menus or whatever. And I couldn't do that. And I thought it was really, really bizarre. And our devices could see the SSID of the, the router, but anytime you go to connect to it, it wouldn't connect. It'd just be like, there is no internet connection. So I was like, huh, that's weird. So I talked to, uh, to Jeff because um, Jeff is my go-to tech guy. Jeff is the, uh, the head writer for uh, the Tech Report website. So anytime I have a tech question, I just ask him. And uh, he, hel he helped me through like troubleshooting a little bit of it. And he's like, yeah, it sounds like your router died. We had a power surge um, yesterday. There's a tornado. Inland, well, I mean, there was a tornado, but not here. Yeah, but we still had the weather. Sure, but there was a there was a bad power surge yesterday, and uh, you know the lights went out for just a few seconds, and Jeff said, you know, that possibly could have done it. So we tried a bunch of stuff, we couldn't get the router working, and I was like, well, so much for that. So uh, I ordered a new one, and uh, it'll be here tomorrow, which is good, and. Uh, I took out, I don't think I told you this, I took out the $5 two-year protection plan. Oh. $5. And they'll replace it, no questions asked, for two years. We got that router October 2015. It has been less than two years. And, I mean, in the realm of routers, it wasn't terribly expensive, but this is money. <laughs> costs money. And now that money's gone, so uh, we got a new one coming. And uh, we also need it in time for uh, Saturday. We normally do Friday Movie Club, but we're actually changing it to Saturday this week um, because Friday didn't work for everyone. So uh, Saturday is going to be really cool because we're actually going to be going out for uh, a nice lunch at the Melting Pot because Dan's never had fondue. Then we're going to come back and do uh, Movie Club. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to have some lunch, get some work done, and we'll see how productive today uh, becomes. Look at this asparagus. It's so little and great. 
it's little and great. You want it to be thin. I mean, to be fair, great things come in small packages, Mel. What's it say about you? It says that I'm terrible. No. <laughs> a little bit later and the four hours of sleep that I had is definitely caught up with me. But that's good because we're getting in bed at a fairly decent time. Probably not like a decent time for most people, but for us, very decent since we've been getting in bed a little late. Um, we finished up Mal's videos tonight, so her next painting, which is inside, the videos for that are done, which is awesome. Now she's, uh, she also sketched out what her next uh, painting is going to be, which is Ocarina of Time. And I'm super excited about it because it's awesome. So she's going to probably get started on that, uh, hopefully tomorrow. And um, we're just ending our night by... Uh, well, we just had dinner and we're watching Seinfeld and we're having a little ice cream. We still have that mochi. Remember the mochi that we bought for New Year's? We never actually served it for New Year's. So we've been kind of having it bit by bit and uh, Mouse having some of the, the last remaining mochi balls. I'm eating right out of a Publix vanilla thing, but there's not much in there. Okay, actually, there's a pretty good amount. Shut up. Don't judge me. I'm an adult. I can do what I want. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, uh, Dr. 3 p.m. Um, still have quite a few things to, to get accomplished before we leave. Mal, however, is doing great. You're doing great. Yeah. She's doing great. Now I have to do great. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?